Hello and welcome back here to Torque Drift here on Tuesday for Torque Drift Tuesday. We're going to be taking the Z out again, doing some battles, doing a couple challenges, and seeing if we can get the challenges completed. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So we do have an English Town challenge. I think we're going to try and complete that first if we can. I did uh, do some fine tuning to the, my controller. So we gotta do a chase run against Rad Dan. So we're gonna try it with the Z. And if we can't get it done with the Z, we may switch to a FD car, obviously. Throw it in. Oh, too much. Too much overzealous. I think it was 25,000 to complete this challenge. They threw it way too hard in that second section. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to try and do this one again. We probably could get it with the Z. So, I did adjust my controller sensitivity and things of that nature to try to help with that quick over correction and everything that I've been having issues with. So we're gonna try this again. I feel like we can get it. The Z looked uh, quite uh, comparable in the start. Don't wanna overshoot this turn. We're not close enough, I don't think, to actually complete the challenge. We're still too far out of the drift zone. Not as snappy though, if you're noticing, it's a little bit easier for me to control it now with adjusting of the sensitivity as well as switching it to a smooth style control rather than an aggressive style. So it's helping me out. So we're going to have to pick another car. We're not able to keep up. So, way to keep up with Rad Dan will be to pull out Rad Dan Supra and see if we can't do it with the same car apparently I should have stayed in lower gears yep I should have stayed in lower gears to keep up with them so we're gonna try that again so definitely uh, not a simple challenge as I thought it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be maybe a one and done but it does not look like that is what it is second gear maybe Oh, I hung that out way too wide. Unfortunately, we hung that out a little bit too much. But we were pretty close, so we're going to give it another go with the Supra. Definitely been getting back into the game. Going to be talking to the devs to see about how I can get my wheel to actually work on the game. Because I don't think my fan attack is linking correctly. Um, I know the wheel stuff is still kind of in beta. So we're going to be trying to figure that out and hopefully maybe get some wheel some wheel stuff going on. Maybe bust out the G920 again to do some wheel stuff for you if I can. Because we all know when I hit wheel on this game, it's over. I always falter off right on that turn. I, I, I kind of send it too far and I don't have enough speed to catch up to him. So unfortunately, I don't think I can do it with that one. So we'll go to the car that I know I can chase with very well. And that is the E92 Eurofighter of Christoph Blush. So let's see if I can manage to grab a good chase run in the Eurofighter. say that and I just I overshoot that corner ah I'm, I'm struggling with this so if you guys are struggling on some of these challenges let me know down in the comments because apparently I'm just uh, not cut out for these chase challenges right now nope and there's my oscillation so 
we're going to take our losses on that one and say, okay, we can't get it for today. And go take the Z out and actually run some runs in the Z, Road Atlanta. 700 plus horsepower tandems. Let's see if we can find somebody to go against. Bring the Z out. Where is it? There we go. With our 937 horsepower 350. It's not a body kit. Stock looking sleeper 350Z. Hopefully we can find somebody to go against. We do. We have a E46. Low key lit on that iPhone. Pro 1 Drift King car. So, 1,491 horsepower, definitely going to be a bit of a stretch to probably try and keep up that E46. Well, you know, we're going to try our hardest to catch up and uh, take home a W. Shift in third, bouncing down the hill. Quick initiation, not where I wanted to initiate, and I think I should probably should have went into fourth. Definitely liking how the Z is handling right now. If I would have uh, gotten that uphill and linked this whole course, we would have had much better of a score, but respectable in the 40,000 points for Road Atlanta. Probably going to get bested, though, by a lot. Yeah. 71. I remember the days when I was hitting 60s and 70s here at Road Atlanta on the mobile platform. So let's just see if we can maybe just bang a good chase. I probably needed, like I said, go into fourth there and then downshift into third. But we are, oh man, staying on his door. He threw way more angle than I thought he was going to throw. So note self, downshift into, go into fourth and downshift into third after coming out of the first turn. Because I think we're over revving in third and not getting enough wheel spin to stay sideways. So I'm going to try to get maybe a rerun against him me a rerun maybe my initiation was a little off I feel like I can do a way better initiation on that one there we go gotta go into fourth before I uh, hard chuck this in and not end up in the kitty litter fourth yep that was oh I would say that was the money gear until we chucked it too hard into the grass. So fourth gear is actually the gear I need to be in overall. Hmm. Now I'm noticing what gear I should have been in. If I wouldn't have hard chucked that into the grass, maybe we would have had a way better of a run. But now I know for the chase, maybe we can throw it on a good chase. It's again in the 60s for him. Low key lit is definitely a uh, low key taking me out. Jordan fourth. Chuck it in. Not hard chuck it into the grass. Yeah, okay, we did it again. I was gonna say not hard chuck it into the grass, but we did hard chuck into the grass anyways. Unfortunately, oh man, that dude dropped way deep into that grass there. This is not how you were supposed to take a chase. You're not supposed to take the lead. So, unfortunately, we got bested by this man, and it's going to not register our runs because, unfortunately, we kind of cut the track. So, struggling a little bit today here on Torque Drift. Going to be doing some more tuning on the car to try and get a better, I would say, platform for me to run in on controller. So we're going up against a 1200 horsepower S15. We know what gear we need to be in. We just gotta not hard chuck it into the grass. We can hard flick that in. Chuck that earlier. That's what I wanted to do. That's the run we wanted to have. Just dipping a toe in the grass there. Yeah, this is the run now that we actually wanted. 
that's a bit of a better run that I wanted to see up in the 60s almost 70s so that's what we should have done last time and we're going against a 62 so we got a bit of a bit of an advantage now going into our chase A little bit late of initiation on our part, but we had to catch up, kinda. There we go. Ooh, oh, a little door tap. A little door tap never hurt. I feel like we should be doing a livery video for the Z and stuff here in the next Torque Drift Tuesday or another video during the week. And get a proper livery on the Z because, well, it's kind of bare right now. We got to throw up the logos represent sponsors, you know, Energy Innovations, Torque Drift themselves, and of course my logo as well. So we did take that win, just barely took that win. Is he going to want to rerun or are we going to find somebody else to run against? We're going to give this a rerun, and I think this will probably be the last run for today's episode. Get that cursor out of the way. That was a pretty close battle. Hard chuck in. Manage the bump. There we go. Run it wide just on that rumble strip. Hook it back in. Oh, this is a better run than the first run. Oh, a little bit wide. Missing that clipping zone, but managing to keep the drift total. So, Still up there in the 60s, not as good as our last run, but still up there, 66, oh, 68. To this car's 56, so once again, we do have an advantage in the lead. Z is definitely getting more stable, and the controller changes did help me get a little bit more stable now. So, ooh, uh, okay, all right. Doing a little, uh, doing a little sideways action, trying to mess up my entry, but unfortunately, no, we're good. We're gonna hug your door and do all kinds of handbrakes and clutch kicks to stay back there. Oh, a little three wheel action. So we still, I believe, managed to take the win on that one. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. If you guys want to see a livery video, let me know down in the comments. If you guys want to see a livery created for this car, once again, we did take that win. So, as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. The Z definitely making some progress. So, as always, I like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.